What's up? The gate does this. How you doing? Doing good. Alright, we just finished up. We're up to that. Oh, we got the doors in. Cool. Yeah, the doors are sweet. Yeah. I haven't closed them yet. Oh, my eyelids should be on. Who's uh, just got ready? And That's I had right. something there. We have a phone cable. It's not plugged in or anything. Okay, I can get you a phone. Okay. Um, I think Cards is setting that up eventually. Okay. That's. I mean, if the, if the cable's here, I can I can look it up. That's no problem. Second back or first and third? I don't think first is back. Okay. Um, I did send second to get lunch, so. Yeah, they came. We weren't set up. They left. Oh, I thought you guys were ready. We're ready now. Oh, okay. They came about two minutes too soon. Oh, all right. In that case, uh, they're eating first. Remember, second section? Yeah. Whatever, I went to go get them. I see you uh, are primed and ready to eat. I am. It is your birthday. It is. So I guess I'll let you have some. No. We also have a gift. My, my troops eat first. I was going to give you an onion for a present because we have one. But I got a, I I got a log time. last night. So we have this for you. What is this? Jelly. Ooh. Everybody else can be jelly while you eat the jelly. Absolutely. Let's find a free hand. <laughs> well, thank you much. Thank you. This is from our friend's kitchen. I appreciate it. What's the screwdriver? Oh, you're doing the sign? Yep. I'm told uh, you guys got a phone wire run, so I'll get you guys set up. We see the wire. Cool. Oh, we got the uh, in and outdoors wrong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we didn't get them wrong. We well, got more useful. They were they were switched around from last year. It was close. Yeah. Are you guys doing the the system where you hang a rock from it? Uh, we had to get. That's uh, that's some advanced Soviet science. I'm not even sure how that works. It's pretty straightforward, except for no, it's, 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 it's it's yeah, it's classified. Way above your pay grade. Pay grade. That's right. <laughs> Wait. I thought we were covering this. We, we pay you guys? We do. It's just, uh, it's probably not today. You get a whole bunch of squirrels for your hard work. Ooh, mm -hmm. squirrels. Getting stars on our dog tags too? Yes. Because I need another one. Yep. I guess I get some dog tags. Are there different symbols for each side? No. No, these, these are I'm gonna make, make it these are those. decent replica Soviet equivalents, but I think then you would get two stars having done Eastwind at one at yeah, least once. So count. it's yeah, it all it all counts even if you served for the wrong side last year. Wrong side. <laughs> the wrong side. It happens. It happens. I've been rehabilitated. <laughs> You've seen the light. Oh, that's not. Loose. Don't do that. You'll pull out his collar liner. I need to redo that. I don't mine. have to get some buttons and button one in, like the cool guys over in Germany. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Only African core is cool. I get to wear shorts. I like shorts. The shorter the better. Where is this, is this t team at? These guys are all ready to go. Some right we're getting I let them know. I, I told them. You know what I want to be wearing? 6B3 helmet and maybe boots. Just that? <laughs> I wish I had another belt. I can see a solid belt. That might work. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, because I've just been wearing the whole web gear because I don't want to take it apart. Oh, the, is that screwdriver backwards? Now everyone is going to be confused because there is no directions on the board. <laughs> what do we do next? I'll write up a mission order. Teach him how the doors work. You are you ready?
we used actual tomatoes, man. Huh? We used oh, actual yeah. tomatoes. Huh? Really? Yeah. We are fancy right spoiled now. this year. Let me put that on video in the light there. There's another egg in there too. That looks good. We eat well. We eat very well. This has been the best year for food yet. I'm actually a little because we might be fighting uh, kind of like, like, we were like, eh, let's go back to base to get food. <laughs> so it's reducing our combat effectiveness. <laughs> the big one instead of the little one because I'm a tard. It's alright, tards you beat too. <laughs> Thank you much. God, you want you don't want me at unless you're gonna like scramble them or make a nice like onion and pepper omelet, no no I thanks. I'd like that to happen and it'll it will well, we run out of other ideas. <laughs> Really good. Hey, first section's back. Mm, hot tea. Condiments? Are you serious? We have like salt and pepper now? We no, this isn't this isn't East of Wind anymore. It's now a, a family camping trip. Five stars all around. Where would the five star East Wind experience? Yes. What do we have? I, I noticed pepper. Just salt and pepper. Just salt and pepper? Spread amongst six containers. Well, I mean they're supposed to be on the tables, but uh, we keep moving them back and forth. And then we stop moving them so they just stay here. <laughs> It's really pleasant out here. Right here. Mm -hmm. Sunny, so I got the red lights on. I'm going to turn them off. Get you some white lights. Did that do anything at all? Roger. Saving power. If this isn't don't ask me what I have done so that you send me to it. If this isn't more Soviet than anything I've ever seen in the last couple days. I'm uh, gonna install your telephone. Oh, right Yeah, this isn't the start of a cheesy porno. I'm literally installing a telephone. <laughs> I have come to install your phone. I'm here to install your phone. Um, along the tree line to our camp is a couple of corrugated metal sheets. Grab those sheets, run them down this trench, and I want you guys to practice machine gunning people down in a ditch using the aluminum sheets as positive reinforcement. Because everyone likes the sound of bullets impacting corrugated aluminum. I heard, I 
that by the piss trench? What's up? To the right of it. Hopefully not covered in pee. All of it is covered in pee. Potentially. If it isn't, I'll fix that. This fucking sucks. Oh. What's up? What this thing? Mm -hmm. The threads are freaking gone. So it doesn't thread on. I'm gonna turn it upside down. Just tension fit the fucker. Oh, that, that twig has pokies. Do we have a knife on you? I do not. Do you have any um, sharp metal pokie things? I do not. Okay, so it's a little old, but let me see you do better. Radio antenna? You want it in? Alright.
Coming up for a photo. Er, I missed a video. So hopefully y'all don't start driving while I'm here. Oh, cough. So I'll step down. Your crappy uniform. Yeah, I had intended on getting dressed sometime this morning. Go ahead, flip out. What? You want it on? Yeah. Of course I want it on. We're on a fucking mission. Ready? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Hurra! 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 Now. Extra silly, but I'm, I'm going to be a little grandmotherly. Magazines are in and safeties are off before you get to combat. <laughs> no shit, you guys are you guys are psyched in the moment now. You need to put your mags in before you forget. You need to get your safeties off before you forget. More importantly, come back alive. Camouflage the SPW 40 in NATO blood. I'd appreciate it. Okay, guys. understand why the Easterners are letting us borrow it. Get 
him and the Madison. vehicle with the border guards logos. I don't know if you you have it in your stand in front of the uh, tire. Stand stand in front of the tire. <laughs> the first one, I mean, it wasn't border guards logo thing. You can look for it years from now when I post the pictures. Because the the background stuff, it is like recruiting poster. It's begging to have type put over the over the rest of the background. Like, we'll, we'll make it happen. Border guard. I spoke all the time. <laughs> section. Alright. East makes sense. Thank yeah. you all for coming. Let's get uh, East, section yeah, leaders closer pass. to the map table. Yeah, Everybody else fill in as best you can. Thirteen March, nineteen ninety-one. I didn't correct the time on this. Two first and second sections. Situation. In order to defend the People's De uh, Democratic Republic of Germany from hostile NATO land grabs, and in support of enthusiasm of numerous local leaders last night, troops of the Soviet Union and People's Democratic Republic of Germany have begun a series of concentrated combat operations against West Germany. Beginning at 1000 local, combined arms action was initiated across the West German frontier to include Czechoslovakia. Ground troops have penetrated over 20 sites across a broad front. These are supported by limited artillery and airstrikes against key road, rail, and communications points to disrupt enemy defenses and counterattacks. A small number of air assaults have also been performed by VDV and DSHB forces, both as feints and to undertake specific missions where bombing would be too imprecise or cause too much damage to the local population. Concept of operation. Due to risk of collateral damage to the local population, 7th Company has been tasked with destroying a bridge along a major NATO transit route in an effort to slow down their northward push. Mission start time is 2200 hours. It's approximately 20 minutes from now. Echelon and the forces. First echelon is first section pulling security. Second echelon is second section pulling demolition. Third echelon is HQ section pulling distraction. Immediate tasks. First section will depart 7th Company at approximately 2130. That's past six minutes ago. We'll update that. Via gas, arriving at grid location 510705. 510705. Is that way off? That shouldn't be five one zero. Five one one. Five one zero. Five one not five zero one. Correct. That's lack of sleep for you. So First section will sweep, clear, and hold in village located at five one zero seven zero four. So another grid down about here. First section will be on standby until second section is in position. First section will be providing security for second section, which is to destroy a bridge located at 5086. 5086. 6963. Known locally as Pegasus Bridge. Second section will be departing at 22.30 via gas, arriving at 5102-7053.
believe that's Snapdragon. It's approximately Wait, here. Is that cut on top of the, uh... Uh, arriving in there. From here, second section will sweep and clear through SME Valley and proceed onward to Pegasus Bridge, located here. Second section will then attach a deck cord to load bearing points, clear the area, then detonate the deck cord using uh, thermite grenades, which we will issue. HQ section will be departing at 2230 via the BTR 40 and patrolling the far western sector of our area of operations in an effort to draw NATO patrols away from the area. BTR-40 will then depart the AO approximately one half hour after arriving, or if BTR-40 crew make contact with hostile forces. And state, first and second section have successfully placed deck cord and thermobaric charges on Pegasus Bridge, and detonation is successful. Scheme of maneuver. First section will depart on the gas to 510705, proceed on foot to aforementioned objectives. Once objectives are complete, first section will call for extraction. Second section will then be picked up by the gas. Will be dropped off at the northern edge of SME Valley. Once your mission is complete, you'll also radio for extraction. In theory, we should be picking up both sections at the same time, if possible. HQ section will depart the same as second section via BTR and drive to their established sector. Contingencies. After successful mission completion, all sections will report for pickup at designated drop zones. In the event of contact with overwhelming NATO forces, all sections are to break off, seek concealment, and attempt to complete the mission, even if delayed. There is no running back home. Hide. Let them get bored. Go away. Complete the objective. Algorithm meteorological. Overnight low is approximately 30 degrees. Moon disk visibility is 2%. Transport authorized. One gas light utility vehicle. One BTR-40 armored vehicle. Equipment. 2x 1pn58 night vision scopes, 1 per section, 1x set of deck cord, that was issued earlier, 1x thermite grenade package, we have that here, that's uh, 3 grenades, pull the pins, throw them on the bridge, uh, 2x pnv 57 es for our BTR drivers, communications, there has been a change in radio frequency, no pads out, oh, no pads actually on your desk. I'll grab it from one of your guys as soon as uh, somebody writes it down. Radio frequency is 52.800 megahertz. 52.800 megahertz. Other nets, the Grenstruppen wired network is also available for our use. If you can't get to us via radio, find a phone, put in 25 cents, give us a ring. <coughs> Pyrotechnic signals, none at this time. Challenge and response has been established. Take notes. Long range recognition signals. Challenge is three medium length red flashes. Red, red, red. Response is one long length red flash. Red. Verbal recognition challenge and response. The challenge is the word red. The response is the word yellow. The colors on the Soviet flag. End of mission brief. Begin your planning. We want to get first section out in about 20 minutes. You guys will be jumping off a half hour after. Let's also start issuing out equipment. Any questions? A question, can my section substitute to the P58 for the binoculars that we used yesterday? That doesn't sound unreasonable. Are the binoculars used yesterday still available? I suppose so. They're probably in this box. Okay. I'd rather have that than uh, be, be in the That's fine. So long as at least somebody has night vision. Um, yeah. If anything, NATO might be using active night vision. It'll help. All right. Any other questions? Everybody understands what they're doing? Excellent. Radio frequency is 52800. 52.800, yes. So as soon as we... Yeah, tie up all the ropes, and it's just, you know, so you hear an explosion. Um, no, I didn't hear. Who's getting issued what for night vision? First, uh, first section is getting 1, 1 PN58. Second section is getting 1 BN2, 12. I don't know the number. 2. Uh, night vision binoculars. Um, HQ section is getting the PNV 57Es. Okay. Hey, what about, uh, what I think that handheld? Uh, well, I wanted to check yeah, out those BNTs at some point. Can you give me a challenge? Certainly. Challenge. 
Red Long range light challenge. Three medium length red flashes. One, two, three. With the red filter up. That's the one, response. Two, it works pretty well. Yeah. yeah. So there's there's, a, there's a, a noticeable pause between each one. Response is one long length red flash. Up close in, in talking distance, your challenge is the word red. Your response is the word yellow. If you hear anything but yellow, open fire. Pickles. Running pass. <laughs> running pass. Uh, I don't think we've established a running password. Fuck running. Yeah, Fuck, we're run. not allowed to run. Just keep it obvious. <laughs> so what you, can, you can trot. I'll authorize a trot. I thought we were only allowed to crawl. I prefer to do a trot. Right. So are we going to establish running password? Running password? No, just run. Fuck, here they come. Be obvious about it. The running password is only needed when you're holding a defensive position and you're running into... Yeah, the, the first like section is going to be very close to second like section. It's not like they're going to be silly far away from you guys. You will all eventually link up at Pegasus Bridge. Actually, we're linking up briefly in the valley and then, and then stepping up from there, but... Um, Brett's job is to just be noisy as hell over here. Get NATO guys from wherever their base is to filter down into here looking for the sound of that noise. Get your job done quickly so he can come back quickly and we don't lose any armored assets. Um, <laughs> it's on loan to us and I have a feeling I would be paying for the BTR if it gets blown up. I don't make a whole lot of money being a senior lieutenant. That means you guys might not get paid for a couple years. That's why you make the small bucks. That's why I make the little bucks. Um, so, uh, once again, for detonation, um, what is this, like four, four posts you need to type? You'll have to, you'll have to uh, decide that when you see it. Yeah, okay. I, don't, I don't know you how many to, supports you, it you has. You have to survey the bridge and make a tactical decision. You're going to be under it. I think it's, it's, it's orange tape. At least four. Or okay. I mean, like, Here's the deal on the bridges. We didn't do a pre-week on, on that bridge. It's exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. You're doing a detonation to kill the bridge. If it's a post support beams, mm -hmm. you blow those. If it's a span bridge, you know the base at least of the spans, and if you see a major center part of that span, you need to blow that too. Um, you're wanting it to split in half and fall in. Yeah. So you want to blow the center and go out. So once you get there on site, you'll have to make that call and what's the effective way to take it down. All we know is that we, there's a bridge. We don't know exactly what camp it is. So, um, those are the two main times you're going to see here. If it's could possibly be just a normal br span bridge with no supports, <coughs> that's the case. You want to hit end, the middle and the ends, and you're good there. So. Remember, the established norm for explosives placing is P equals plenty. Use what you have. If you have to use all the deck cord to make sure this bridge goes down, use it all. You've got three thermobaric charges. You will be saying thermobaric thermite charges. Um, that should do the trick to light off the deck cord. Bridge will be orange in color. So once it's yes. orange in color, get three of you guys. Each of you take a grenade. All of you pull. Get it on the bridge and skedaddle. Skedaddle is a very Soviet word. <laughs> no. I think very... it's from the uh, southern Ural area. Yeah, kind of. Mm -hmm. they, also, they also they also mosey a lot. They mosey a lot down there. No, no, I was last year. Okay. Alright, he's good. Alright, get him in line. Right, form in line. Oops, sorry, form Set line. the weapon down, hand it to Kaz. Let Kaz hold your weapon. Down there. As best she can, there's a little press for space for a Come formation on, inside. Plenty of room. Sergeant, what's your part in this mission? Uh, Forward security, clearing the route for a second section to so they can uh, death the bridge. Are you carrying any special equipment? I have a map, and I will be carrying a flashlight and also a AKMS with PBS-1 suppressor. Do you have a flash for that map so you can read it in the dark with the red light? Yes, I have a guy carrying that one. Who's that guy? I remember the flash. That would be... I suck. Flash my... What's his blood type? Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's your purpose on this mission? RTO. What's your frequency? 52.800. What's your long range recognition signal? Three red lights. What's your response? One long red light. 
Who grabs the radio when you're dead? You suck. What's your purpose on this mission? I'm employing man. I carry grenades, a compass, and a chemist. What's your close range recognition signal? It is three red. That's the Long range. range. No. What's your oh, short range okay. recognition it's a signal? Red recognition is yellow. Excellent. What's your purpose on this mission? Assistant RTO. What's the radio frequency? 52800. What's your contingency communications plan if the radio goes down? Your alternate uh, method of communication with HQ. Field telephone. Grenzer outposts. What's your purpose on this mission? Uh, it's a guy on that mission. Excellent. That is your special equipment. Do you have any other special equipment? Uh, the one that would be flash eye, but, you know. Who's your battle buddy? Fate. Uh, Alex. Is he married? Yes. What's his wife's name? Angel. Excellent. What's your purpose on this mission? I'm part of the BTR crew. Driver or TO? TO. Special equipment? I have one. Everything? I have one. Yep. Big ass armored vehicle? Yes. Sir. Um, how long are you out in the field for? As long as it takes to complete the mission. Excellent. Sounds good. Dismissed. Once you tighten it down, somebody undid it or never tightened it down. The fact again. that they go the same direction when you try to do it is fun. Oh,
get scared. Oh. Oh, shit. You know what, Mac? In the, um, in the name of international unity, I think I may join your unit. Yes! <laughs> oh, that's how we're going to go. East Wind is so gay. It's <laughs> <laughs> not gay anymore. That is on camera. Artyom! Report! Front center! Huh? Uh, Here! You're about to get decorated. <laughs> <laughs> you probably should have had your shirt in the for the middle. Whatever. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, I'm not expecting this. For uh, going above and beyond several different times, including taking over the role of head cook, for uh, valiancy in combat and getting your men out of there without getting anyone killed, and for uh, losing a contact in the borscht and not telling anyone, it's not much. <laughs> But 7th Company Aww. Command would like to present you <clears throat> with some stuff we stole from you. <laughs> <laughs> and some stuff we brought from home. Thank you. Thank you, sir. As you were. You should hang this plus one. Don't excite me. Where's the metal? Tell it, tell it, tell it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Put it to light. See what we got. I heard that emergency stuff is really good. <laughs> Vitamin C? So Vitamin C. 100, 1000%. 1, hmm? Shut up! So while we're out here, I'm sure you guys aren't getting the prob or anything else and understanding what's going on. This is not a, a popular conflict going on right now, in addition to the West process against it. The Poles have once again showed their lack of spine, and the government has all but collapsed. In fact, Soviet troops along the Soviet-Polish border have actually engaged Soviet troops uh, in gunfire. Um, East German Gunners have not had to fire on Polish troops yet. Um, Czechoslovakia, once again, just like in 68, decided to open up and become uh, open borders and let their people travel freely. Of course, who cares about the Romanians, Hungarians, Bulgarians, because they're kind of worthless anyway. <laughs> Even the said party here in East Germany is losing its will. Some of the NBA units are beginning to uh, align up against each other. Those that support the party and its Western-leading leaning uh, politics, and those that really want to fight for East Germany and the communist state that has served us so well. Soviet troops, word came down, the Soviets are trying to pull out of East Germany before they get locked in. However, some East Ger German army units are impeding that progress. I do have word that there's a column coming through I'm down midday tomorrow. We'll start in the morning, we'll start breaking down the camp so you guys can join up with them and roll through. Unfortunately, you're going to have to roll through the American sector because it's only 12 kilometers to the next adjacent Soviet unit so you can join up and you can all get out of here. About 10 kilometers the other way, the Olympic Motor Rifle Mach Schutzen Division of NBA has decided that they are not going to let Soviet troops leave under arms. The said has decided that to try to save this peace, the Soviet troops must leave without their equipment, without their rifles, without their armor, which you guys only have our rifles since your armor is still in Azerbaijan, but we won't talk about that little issue anymore. I will be going with you, because I do not want to live in a country that's going to go become some imperialist democratic country. Grunge Troop and I leave it up to you to decide where you fall on this. You can come with us. We're going to go back to the Soviet Union, build up again, and we'll come back. Communist might has beat fascists before, we'll beat them again. So, tonight I've placed up some of your personal gear. Keep your obviously fighting gear out. You may get bloody going through the American sector, but it's a whole lot easier slaughtering Americans and is going against the NDA. So that's, we're going to make a push through. This column coming through is a mixed transportation unit. 
as well as they have some armor support. So we aren't going to go in all alone. It's not going to be fun. <coughs> or it might be, depends on which unit we hit. <laughs> <laughs> if we hit the British, <coughs> they make plenty of screaming sounds when they get shot. <laughs> <laughs> Once we break through, get with the other, the Soviet, the 27 guards are on the other side. So we're going to join up with what was left of them and roll on back across the Russian border. We're just going to blast through Poland because, again, who really cares about the Poles? <laughs> there is some trouble going through Czechoslovakia. There have been riots. Soviet troops being assaulted. But don't want, there's been no actual gunfire in Czechoslovakia between Soviet troops and anybody else. In Poland, it's already open. So that's what, where this column is going. So that's the plan. So kind of please up your gear tonight. Plan to get up tomorrow, break down tents. We'll be working on getting the job packed up with any classified documents, radio, things like that. We'll load up and roll out. Hopefully things will go nice. Maybe once the uh, NATO troops see Soviet armor on the field, they'll actually clear out who won't even have to shoot them. If not, if anybody gets in our way, we have to mow down. So to let the Grinch troop and talk amongst themselves about who's going to go which way. I would hope that you're not just loyalist to the party that's so west-leaning and more loyal to the actual true communist state that this is supposed to be. If you choose to stay behind, that is your choice. I won't take any less of you right this minute, but I will write it up on my report on return to Soviet soil. Questions? When is breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> Zero six. <laughs> so, hopefully, we'll be able to get everything packed up pretty quick. Meet this column, get out of here. We're just going to pack it up, be ready for them to load up on their transport equipment, and get moving. So, we're going to worry about tents and classified documents first, some of the secondary stuff. If we can't take it, we can't take it. We'll probably have to set up on the Russian border once we get there to keep any of the Poles, Czechs, any of the Western for other Western forces from pushing through if they decide to make a push through once Soviet forces are seen to be moving out of East Germany. So, that's where we stand. I guess you don't get to fight always the popular wars. Sometimes you do. We'll be back next year. Yeah. <laughs> this time next year, we'll be here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll push, we'll re reinforce, re-equip, push back into East Germany and take our country back. And we'll let you Soviets come in too. <laughs> 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 Final assault, let's do it.